Professor, you have one minute to describe any fascinating topic in physics. Here you go. Okay, one minute. Well, let's see if we can get from gravity to black holes in one minute. Um, we know that the earliest description of gravity came from Isaac Newton back in the 17th century. He described the force between two objects due to gravity as proportional to the product of the masses of the objects and then inversely proportional to the square of the distance of those objects. Einstein came along in 1915 and came up with this general theory of relativity, which is enshrined in this very simple looking equation. Um, but there's a whole bunch in there that is hidden. But essentially what you've got on this side of the equation is the fact that space time is curved. It's not a flat object, but also space and time are married together. On this side, you've got all the sources that produce the curving of space time. And these are interrelated with each other. So matter tells space time how to curve and space time tells matter how to move. The most extreme gravitating objects are black holes. Black holes are nothing but gravity. And there's something related to black holes called the event horizon. That is the point at which nothing can escape the gravitational pull of a black hole, not even light. And that is related to the mass of the black hole in such a way that the event horizon is two times Newton's gravitational constant times the mass of the black hole divided by c squared. That is the event horizon of a black hole. It's very, very small. If you had a black hole the size of the Earth, uh, the mass of the Earth, then the event horizon would be the size of a marble. So very, very small. That's why black holes are incredibly compact. Um, but that's the point at which not even light can escape. Thank you.